Go! There's Lovejoy for you. Yeah. Only in Lovejoy will you find a fucking river going down the fucking street. Because why not, right? So my shrink decided she was going to call me today and fucking reschedule my appointment. And I was like, you realize I haven't seen you in like three months, right? He's like, oh, it's been that long? It's like, yeah, you've canceled fucking three times in like in a row now. Um... This is starting to become ridiculous. This is a pattern now. And it's like, oh. And then every time I get to reschedule with her, it's always, oh, the next time I'm the next time I'm available is like a month and a half away. Okay, cool. You know, I it, you know, I have to sit there and wait a fucking month and a half so that I can see your dumb ass for like 45 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck am I coming now to, to a council? Oh, I know, because I'm mandated by the fucking court to do so. And look at this. Why is this, why is this one all fucking spruce? Weighing water. Shit. This is fucking love joy for you. This is why I hate this fucking neighborhood. Look <clears> at <throat> this shit. I hate this fucking neighborhood. I can't I can't take it anymore. There's no reason why a river should be in the fucking middle of the street like that. Absolutely no goddamn reason. So I'm just waiting at the friggin' bus stop. Dude, there, there's no reason that fucking river in the middle of the fucking street. There's two of them that I saw like that. I'm telling you, fucking love joys is shit. But no, it's like, why why the fuck do I have to go to fucking counseling? Oh, because it's mandated by the court. Oh, is that the only reason why? This is, this is why, this is why I'd rather just get on my fucking camera and fucking talk whenever I fucking want. It's a better therapy, se- and then you know what, what's going to happen? I'll go in there a month from now. I'm going to go into that fucking therapist's office. Oh, look, now, now it's going fucking ape shit with the fucking water. I'm going to go in there a fucking month from now. Look at this. A big fucking flood. Because this is love joy. You know what I'm saying? And how hard is this water coming out? I'm gonna fucking touch the water. Ooh. That's cold. Anyway. You know what? The, this whole this whole neighborhood needs to be just completely flooded. 
Right? That's what I would think. This neighborhood needs it as much. This neighborhood needs something like that, to be honest. Because... I'll tell you why. Because there needs to be, like, some kind of Noah's Ark kind of thing. But there is no fucking boat. And they don't have two of each animal on the fucking boat. And he needs to fucking just come into Lovejoy and just fucking wipe everything clean. Either with, with, with a flood or just a big old fucking nuke. Just, just level the fucking neighborhood. Like, I don't fucking care anymore. Uh, just fucking level it. Like, like I don't give a shit, you know? <clears throat> oh. But it's like... It's like, why do I bother going to therapy? For real, why do I bother? Why do I even go? I don't get anything out of it. It's like, oh, you, you, have, to, you have to condense fucking, fucking five months of stories into like one f fucking 45 minute session. It's like, fuck that. Like I'm like I'm not I'm not really good at giving readers digest versions of stories. I can't do it. I feel I feel that I really can't do that. I feel like if I gotta give the fucking readers digest version of a story that's not that wasn't Santana going by. I thought it was Officer Santana. It's not him. It's a different, different cop. But no, seriously. I can't give readers digest story, digest versions of stories. That's why my, that's why my, my videos go on for hours upon hours. Because I feel like I have to give, like, full details about everything. So it's, 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 it's a lot easier, it's a lot more beneficial for me that I just fucking do a fucking video and leave it at that. And, and think about this for a second, okay? What would, what would actually happen... What would actually happen if I... If it wasn't on a video that I made that, that threat toward that woman? What if it was actually in a therapist's office and I said, Oh, I'm so upset that this, this chick that I knew, she got pregnant and... I don't think she's going to be a good mother. You know, the whole thing. It's like, sometimes, sometimes I just want to, sometimes I just want to go to her house and rip the baby out of her womb. What would happen if I, if that wasn't on a video, but it was in a, in a fucking counseling session instead? I'd still go to jail. I would still go to jail over that. So it's not like, it's not like, it's like a safe zone. You know, because they still have they still have to take that as a threat seriously. You know, so it's it, like I said, it's not. I'm like looking for my phone in my pocket, but I I, I just remember that I'm holding it. I'm so dumb sometimes. No, seriously though, what would happen? What would actually happen? If this, this, if this wasn't, if, the, if I made the threat, but I made the threat at, at a fucking, uh, counseling session or something, you know, 
Like, like it wasn't on a video. I didn't post it on YouTube. I walked into the counseling thing and I said, listen, this chick that I knew for about 11 years, you know, uh, she's like a big fucking mess. Alcoholic, the whole deal. She's, uh... She is, she's uh, sexually attracted to fucking animals. And now she's pregnant. And I'm really upset by that because I don't think she's going to be a good mother. What do you think? You know, and then I say, I just want to go to her house and rip the baby out of her for, 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 the, for the baby's protection. Like, ah, shit. What, what would happen? What would happen there? I would still go to fucking jail. I would still get arrested for saying that. So what you're trying to tell me is that I have to keep all my thoughts bottled up anyway, right? And when people have to bottle up their thoughts like that, <clears throat> that's that's when that's when thoughts and, you know, just words become actions. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I was actually going to do that. I wouldn't do something like that. It's impossible. It's impossible to do something like that. But, you know what? The, like, when, when serial... This is what happens. Serial killers, they're always, they always have a lot of issues, right? And either they don't... Either either these therapists don't take them seriously or whatnot. And then those issues, because they couldn't express them in a proper way, they get expressed in other ways. So now they're out killing. Now they're out raping. Now they're out doing this, that, and the other thing. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's kind of stupid that I got arrested for that. I got arrested for, for that threat. Because would you rather me just not say anything? Because, you know, my thoughts... I still feel the same way about, about, about her and that fucking kid, you know? I still feel the same way. But somehow I'm not allowed to express that because it's harassment. Somehow I'm not allowed to express my my thoughts because it's harassment, I guess. You know? I, I don't know. I, I think it's bullshit. What I actually think should happen is I, I think I think because think about it here, okay? Think about this for a second. It's a lot healthier for me just to say what I said than for me to actually do it. Even though even though you can't actually do what I said I I want I wanted to do, okay? You can't do that. There's no way you're not. You, you would have to. I don't know. And I got that Dan Haynes guy posting uh, an article. Oh, it's possible to do, but then again, what he posted wasn't exactly what I said. What was actually said was, I wanted to go to her house and rip the baby out of her womb. And what what Dan posted was a was an article where I forget what it was, but it, but somehow, some way, there was a, a baby. There was a woman that got the baby cut out of her womb. And I'm like, that's not what I said. I said rip. I didn't say cut. Okay? You can't... Like, ripping it out implies that I'm going to rip it, her baby out with my bare hands. Okay? You can't do something like that. You can't just walk... You can't just... Like, a, like if a pregnant woman's coming down the street and I'm walking... I'm walking toward her and we pass you, I can't just go... And, and, like, rip it out before she even knows anything. You, you can't do something like that. You can't 
there's there's no way and I've actually been thinking about this there's no way she could have taken that threat seriously there's no way she could have taken that threat seriously and when I get off my fucking YouTube ban I'm gonna do a whole video about this I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be all like derogatory toward her or anything like that. But I, I'm gonna tell it how it is. There's, there's no way that she was actually like upset by that. <coughs> she, uh, she. First of all, first of all, she's one of the. She's one of those women that would. She would sit down and watch a movie where something like that happens. Okay, she would watch a movie where where a baby gets ripped out of her, her womb just just like that. She would watch a movie like that. And not only would she watch the movie, but she would fucking laugh about it. She would fucking laugh about uh, during that scene. I know her. I know her a little too well. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Who oh, fuck her. I'm talking about the protected party, to be honest. There's no way she would have... She There's no way she would have been offended by that. So, what it is, is she was... Look, like, I know this. I, I really do know this. She was looking for any excuse to have me arrested. She was looking for any fucking excuse to have me arrested. She, 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 was, she was watching my videos with a fine-tooth comb. Looking for that, for looking for just something to get me arrested. Now I'm getting on the bus, so I have to stop talking about this in public.
on across. All right. So, I want to, since you brought up that buzz cut, girl, I, uh, like, now that you brought her up again, it really does piss me off. Yesterday, oh. <laughs> yeah, that 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 shit pisses me off. Cause first off, first off, here's here's what happened with that whole thing. Okay, I'm on fucking. I think it was like OK Cupid or something, right? And. His chick, a big fat girl on there. And it's like, okay, whatever. You know, I don't care. People say I'm picky. I'm not picky. <coughs> you know, I'm not expecting fucking supermodels or anything. But you know what? I just expect someone, you know, nice. I expect they have a nice woman. I, ex you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not. I'm not asking for like some supermodel 
woman. I'm, I, it doesn't matter. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, she says she was bisexual, which, okay, whatever. Only been with women. Okay, whatever. Wants, wants, is open to men. Oh, whatever. Okay. And her pictures, they look, they look okay. I mean, for a fact, you know, whatever. She, she looked okay. She had, like, really long hair in some of them. And then in, so, and in the other one, she had, like, a complete friggin' bus, buzz cut. And I'm just like, okay, she looks better with the really long hair. Oh, whatever. So I message her, right? And I'm like, hey, how you doing? Or, you know, whatever the fuck. Uh, she gets, she, she messages me, messages me back and says, says something like, you're that, you're that fucking creep that, that's always messaging me. Stop messaging me or I'm going to contact the police. And I'm like, whatever. You know, that's... I, I don't know. <laughs> I think she got me confused with somebody else, but whatever. I don't give a shit. And then I'm going, I'm like looking at her pictures again. And the pictures with the buzz, she had the buzz cut on there. She said that she, 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 she cut her hair to stand with solidarity for uh, people with cancer. And then I'm just like, you fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. Look, bitch. You know, it's one thing, it's one thing to go on there and, and is, that, is that really necessary? Is that really necessary? It's one thing to go on and start, you know, say that, oh, well, uh, it's one thing to sit there and say, oh, I'm going to call the police on you if you message me again. Whatever, you know, it just means she's not interested. What the fuck ever. Like, I don't give a shit, really, you know. I think it's a little extreme that she would call the police, but, hey, whatever. A simple no thanks would have done, you know what I'm saying? Or she could have actually been being harassed by somebody and she thought it was, uh, that I, I was the one doing it. I don't know. So, but I don't really give a shit. But then there's another, there's another thing that you're sitting there saying you're, you, you, you did that to your hair to stand in solidarity with, with people with cancer. And all she really did was she gave herself a shitty buzz cut. And I'm just like, I'm thinking, I'm just like, you fucking retard. You, you, you fucking bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you fucking bitch. You know, people with cancer, they do the chemo shit, you know? And it does not give you a fucking buzz cut, okay? Chemo does not give you a fucking buzz cut. Chemo fucking just makes you bald. It makes you bald. It, 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 you lose your hair. You lose your eyebrow. You lose your fucking uh, uh, eyelashes. You, you lose your fucking snatch hair. You lose everything. Why isn't she shaving her eyebrows? It, it's so ridiculous what she did. That I just... If I saw her... And, and, oh, I forgot to mention this one, too. She supposedly lives in Lovejoy. I've never seen her around before, but I will say that if, if I see her around, she's getting fucking punched. Okay? She's getting fucking punched in the face. You, you fucking ass, you... That, that's beyond asshole. That's beyond bitch. Now, here's the thing, though. My friend Eugene has fucking cancer. He's my age. He has fucking cancer. Okay, he had to go through the chemo shit. Okay? He had to go through the chemo 
no shit. And I found out yesterday that they actually had to cut off his fucking arm, okay? Because the, can the, the, the cancer won't go away from the chemo. The cancer won't go away from the chemo. So they, instead, now they have to cut off his fucking arm. I think that's bullshit. And I think that what this, 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 this buzz cut bitch is doing is just so disrespectful. I'm sorry. I gotta get on the bus. Excuse me. I don't watch that show anymore. I think I watch it <coughs> maybe like once or twice after Ski Mask left and that was it. I really can't stand the show anymore. They really need to bring back the Ski Mask. I'm sorry they do. Stop requested. You need to get somebody on there that actually can host the show. For real, though, they, they should. I, I joked with what I'm saying. He needs to get he needs to get Jack's arms from Mortal Kombat. He needs to get arms like Jack's. They're gonna take they're gonna take his his left arm. They're gonna cut his arm off. That's kind of hardcore. I don't know. They need to they need to give him something. Give him like he said that he's gonna try to get like Jack's arms when he gets his settlement. I, I was joking about the Jack's arms. I don't even know if that, those things even exist. But it sucks. He, he's gonna be like one arm, you know. Yeah, I was on that show a while ago. They need to they need to bring back Ski Mask for real though. He's on some. He's on, he, I saw him like once on there. It was like, he, he was like via satellite or something. But no, I really can't stand that, that Amazon or whatever. <laughs> Who's hosting it, I can't stand her. I think she's kind of annoying. They need to get like me. They need to get like me. You know, to, to host that show. Honestly, I don't think I'd be a good... I don't think I'd be a good, uh... host for that show, to be honest. To be honest, I don't think I would be a good host. Because all my videos are just all, like... I gotta do, like, those those three hour videos like I can't just it's gonna be hard for me to do that in like a half hour for however long that show's on for so I don't want to go into counseling it's just oh it's another thing I gotta condense three months of of, of issues in the like 45 minutes uh, this is gonna be gonna be bad 
condense three three months full full of issues into like one 45 minute uh, counseling session. I, I can't do it. <sighs> yeah. I'm on YouTube, but it's like they they kick me off of YouTube until the sixth. But then again, when the sixth comes around, there's gonna be like there's gonna be like ten videos that'll be uploaded all at once. This is gonna be uploading fast. Yeah, I don't know. They, they have, oh, what do they call it? I don't know. Who, whoever's hosting it now is kind of annoying. At Amazon or whatever. She, she's not funny. There was a, there, then they have like those, those guys that come on there. I don't know who they are. They're not that funny. They're like the British guys or whatever. I think it was. But they're not that funny. No, the, the best the best time was when Ski Mask was hosting it. But you need to get you need to get like Richard Viola to do to host it or something. And I still I still think that I still think that Tom Windsor should 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 uh, be on the show in person. He I, he said he can't because he's doing the voice as well, and it's like he's like I can't be on the show in person. I'm like find a way to do it. You know, fucking Alfred Hitchcock did it. He's like, I'm the one recording. I'm like, who cares? Alfred Hitchcock can do it. You can do it, you know? Because Alfred Hitchcock is, makes, makes appearances in all his movies. How the hell can he do it? You know? He should, I know. <clears throat> there was, like, some guy I saw on, on that thing where he had, like, this British accent or something. It was like... This isn't funny. <laughs> you need to get, you need to get, like, Rich Viola. Like, even get, like, Mama Nuts on there to host it. She would be better. She's kind of, like, out there, but... that's going to lose his goddamn arm and this woman's going around saying oh oh look I have cancer and she just like buzz cuts her hair you know what I'm saying and she didn't actually say shit look at me I'm supporting cancer patients she just buzz cuts her hair no 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 and I know what she was thinking too I know what she's saying well I'm a woman 